Hello. Welcome once again to Friendship Moments with Friendship Baptist Church in Killen, Alabama. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's start with a word of prayer. Our dear Father, we thank you, Lord, for your presence within us by your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that your word is life and light to us. We thank you, Lord, that so far we are able to present your word to those who may not hear it any other way but on YouTube or Facebook. Lord, we thank you for the technology that you use to spread your word. Father, as we go into your word today, help us to understand what you're saying to us and help us to allow your Holy Spirit to plant it deep within our heart and may it produce fruit for your glory and your honor. In Christ's name I pray, amen. One of my favorite chapters in the Bible is Psalm 91. I pray it over my children and my grandchildren a lot. I pray it for myself a lot. It's a very comforting um, chapter. And I am going to focus on the first verse today. But I want to quickly read through the chapter. Because I'm hoping that possibly the Lord will lead me to just for us to go through this chapter verse by verse. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you nor will any plague come near your tent or your body. For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down because he has loved me. And this is the Lord speaking now. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. In the name Yeshua, Joshua, Jesus means salvation. He's going to show us Jesus. I love this because it tells us that if we're watching where we are dwelling and abiding, these are all the blessings that we are going to receive from God. <clears throat> to dwell in Hebrew is yashab, and it means to remain, to sit, continue, to come to, or have it. It also carries the connotation of destroying your previous dwelling place or of it having been destroyed and you moving elsewhere. If we are dwelling in the shelter of the Most High, we have left the old sinful nature, the lifestyle of sin that brings death and destruction, to move into the shelter of the Most High God, the Creator, the safest place to dwell in all creation. Abide in Hebrew is to lodge, abide, remain, tarry, lodge in, dwell, and endure. If we dwell, leaving our dwelling place of being separated from God by sin in his shelter, which is the covert, secret place, hiding place, covering, or protection of God, we will abide in his shadow. And his, the shadow is where there is defense and shade. In other words, if we are dwelling in his um, shelter and abiding in his shadow, we are at rest. <clears throat> The most high means high, most high, upper, higher, above, highest, and uppermost. I don't think you can get any higher than that. And the Almighty is the self-sufficient one. He needs no one and nothing else. He is deity. He is sovereign and he is all-powerful. 
So to sum up this verse, if we will humble ourselves before God and accept Jesus, his son, as our savior, our old dwelling or nature dies and we move into a new one under his shelter. From that time on, if we are faithful to him, we are under God's complete protection, guidance, and blessings. We live comfortably with him knowing we are safe, no matter what happens to our physical self. We are members of his family and we feel at home there. Even when tough times come, we rest in knowing we are abiding with the Almighty God and are comforted by his presence and safe in his care. His wrath will never be directed at us. No matter what the enemy threatens us with, his threats can't come to fruition because we are safe in God's shadow, and that is his promise to us. I hope that maybe next week we continue on in Psalm 91 and see why we are so safe. Thank you for joining me again. Blessings. <laughs>